every sports team needs a playbook. A playbook is an explanation and guide for team strategies and tactics. Players can look over a playbook before a game to remind them of which strategies they need to implement under which conditions and how each position works together to carry out the plan. Just like every sports team needs a playbook, every investor needs an investment plan. This video is a summary of our ETF playbook for 2024. We'll explain two strategies to consider and the ETFs you can use to implement these strategies. Despite high inflation, sharply rising interest rates, fears of a US recession, and a series of bank failures, equity markets generally managed to climb in 2023. Most major global equity indices posted double digit returns, while the NASDAQ 100 produced an incredible 54% rally. Economic and market conditions currently appear more supportive than this time last year, but some risks and uncertainties still remain. As such, taking a balanced approach might be a sensible strategy this year. The first strategy is to build an all-weather investment portfolio. Taking an all-weather approach to your equities allocation means investing in resilient businesses that could be well-placed to better weather any economic storms that materialize. Here are some of the key factors we think can provide these characteristics. The first characteristic is cash flow rich companies. As the old adage goes, profit is opinion, cash is fact. Free cash flow is the money generated by a company's operations after accounting for capital expenditures and working capital. Cash flows are more reliable and less biased than profits, which need to be interpreted through accounting principles and policies. Cash can benefit a company in most market conditions. When the economy is strong, it can help to fund growth, allowing a company to expand operations or make acquisitions. In periods of distress, a company with cash can service or pay down debts and are less reliant on markets for funding. Companies that generate high levels of free cash flow historically have tended to outperform broad global equity benchmarks over the medium to long term. BetaShares Global Cash Flow Kings ETF, ASX code CFLOW, invests in a portfolio of global companies with strong free cash flows. CFLOW can be used as a core exposure to global equities or alongside existing low cost passive global ETFs to improve portfolio fundamentals. Quality is another factor to consider. Quality companies are those with high returns on equity, low leverage, and relatively stable earnings. Taking this investment approach in Australia has tended to result in higher exposure to technology and consumer companies and a lower exposure to mining companies. Not only do these attributes favor businesses that can grow steadily while remaining resilient, but it can provide diversification benefits for Australian investors. A portfolio of quality companies has the potential to produce long-term performance superior to that of the relevant broad share market benchmarks. Beta Shares Australian Quality ETF, ASX code AQLT, is Australia's only passive quality ETF. It can be used to replace or complement active Australian equity funds or as a core exposure to Australian equities. We believe companies within the innovative NASDAQ 100 index have the potential to provide long-term growth Today's NASDAQ 100 companies make up a substantial portion of the US stock market and rose by 51% in 2023. Over the last 10 years, it's returned on average 21% per annum. That's more than double the 10% per annum that the S&P 500 index has returned over the same period. Pundits have labeled this outperformance evidence of another technology bubble but there are some solid fundamentals backing the returns. As of 30 June 2023, as a percentage of sales, companies in the NASDAQ 100 index had spent seven times as much on research and development compared to those in the S&P 500, when excluding NASDAQ 100 companies. Research and development is a key driver of innovation and growth. So perhaps unsurprisingly, companies in the NASDAQ 100 index have demonstrated strong historical earnings growth. Analysts are expecting this to continue, forecasting sales growth of 11% per annum in the next two years, compared to just 5% for the S&P 500. BetaShares NASDAQ 100 ETF, ASX code NDQ, is the only ETF traded on the ASX, offering exposure to the NASDAQ 100 index. The second investment strategy to consider for 2024 is building a sustainable income stream. 
According to recent research from beta shares and investment trends, more than one in three ETF investors are prioritizing income as their number one investment objective in 2024. ETFs offer a wide range of options for investors seeking income. With interest rates expected to remain higher for longer, it could be a good time to consider income yielding investments. To start, equity income strategies. While equities are generally thought of as a growth allocation, some can also produce an attractive income stream. Australian equity investors looking for income often turn to local equities. The Australian market as a whole historically has paid dividends at a higher rate than many other developed markets. And franking credits can make these dividends particularly attractive on an after-tax basis. BetaShares range of yield maximizer funds use a covered call strategy to offer additional income over and above the dividends generated by the underlying portfolio. This strategy is best suited to a sideways trending market. As we've seen in Australia in recent years, covered call strategies may also help to reduce portfolio volatility, an important consideration for investors relying on their investments for income. BetaShares offers three ETFs that utilize covered call strategies. BetaShares Equity Yield Maximizer Fund, ASX code WIMAX, implements this strategy of the 20 largest blue chip shares listed on the ASX. BetaShares NASDAQ 100 Yield Maximizer Fund, ASX code QMAX, implements the strategy on the largest 100 non-financial companies listed on the NASDAQ exchange. And BetaShares S&P 500 Yield Maximizer Fund, ASX code UMAX, which implements the strategy on the stocks comprising the S&P 500 index. It's important to note that these ETFs do not aim to track an index. Investors can also use smart beta strategies to enhance income from equities. Traditional equity indices, such as the ASX 200, are weighted by market capitalization. Market capitalization refers to the market value of the company's shares. Essentially, the most valuable companies receive the largest weight in the index. This can be a simple and effective approach, but it is subject to the whims of the market's mood. BetaShares FTSE RAFI Australia 200 ETF, ASX code QOZ, takes a different approach. Rather than weighting by market capitalization, QOZ is weighted in a way that reflects the economic importance of its constituents. This includes accounting measures such as sales, cash flow, dividends, and book value. Investors can additionally turn to fixed income when searching for income and defense. In the last decade, the low interest rate environment saw bonds fall out of favor with many income investors. That all changed in 2023 as higher interest rates on cash drove yields up across the asset class. As we move into 2024, fixed income could once again offer both income and defensive attributes. Fixed income is a huge asset class, even larger than equities, with a wide range of different securities, strategies, and exposures available. All of this choice can be intimidating at first glance, but there's no need to make it complicated. BetaShares Australian Composite Bond ETF, ASX code OZBD, is designed to be a core portfolio allocation for Australian fixed income. It invests in a diversified portfolio of high quality Australian government and corporate fixed rate bonds. Investors could also consider cash investments. Cash can include term deposits and at core deposits, but also a range of money market securities. These usually have low credit risk and are not highly sensitive to interest rate movements and mature within 12 months. All this results in a high level of capital stability and a low risk of capital loss. Securities like these have traditionally been inaccessible to retail investors due to the high minimum investments and expertise required. BetaShares Australian Cash Plus Fund, ASX code MMKT, aims to provide enhanced returns on cash by enabling retail investors to access these money market securities. In our view, these two strategies, building an all-weather portfolio and investing to generate income should be at the top of investors' minds this year. And the funds we've discussed in this video could be a good starting point when implementing these strategies. For more context around why these themes are gonna be in favor in 2024, check out our ETF playbook here. It includes an economic outlook from our chief economist and six charts that our investment experts suggest we should keep an eye on.